Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, not too much happened today. So we just want to take a look at the um, short term chart, the intraday chart here. Um, overall, yeah, Bitcoin is just consolidating. So throughout the day, you know, similar behavior like the S&P 500. Not sure if some of you follow the S&P, but Bitcoin is still holding above support. The S&P 500 as well. We had a slight rally towards the open of the market or opening of the New York session. Okay, this is also when Bitcoin moved up a little bit and then sold off and finished the day flat, basically. It's just sideways consolidation. I mean, the levels are currently clearly being respected here, especially the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement, but Bitcoin is not really interested. I looked at the microstructure today and I thought, well, do I want to add another layer of subwaves? You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's just whenever it's bit, um, the market isn't doing much, I, you know, people want to see the micro, micro, micro nano movements, but they just, I mean, what could it be, right? So overall, I, you know, the focus is on higher as long as we're holding above micro support. The first warning that something is breaking is a break below 65,200. So looking at the market and analyzing the structure here, it's clear that we're in a local uptrend from the 10th of October low. And the yellow scenario and the blue scenario, they are both very similar. They both point towards higher prices, just with slightly different subdivisions. And in the yellow count, we have an ABC structure to the upside in wave one. And we have a wave two to the downside, which was quite shallow. And then we have an ABC in wave three. Then we should get a wave four and a wave five, which can take us into the target area there around uh, 70, let me just double check that, 73,500 to 74,400. I mean, this is an ideal target for the yellow scenario, but also for the blue count, which is just slightly different. Wave one, wave two, wave three could still be in the making, might get one more high in this third wave. Then we could get a wave four and a wave five. So overall, not much different. Um, these two wave counts just differ in their let's say subwave structures, nothing major there though, no major differences. And yeah, overall, I think we just have to be a little bit patient. Now, if we take a look at the nano structure, I mean, it would look best, okay, whether this is a wave B or maybe already wave four, but in terms of a corrective pullback, this here could be the A wave of that pullback then a small A, B, C in wave B. So A, B, and then C before we go higher, yeah? I mean, this would be sort of a very clear three wave pullback. And as long as we're holding 65,200, the overall trend hasn't changed or isn't changing and we can watch for higher. And maybe it's doing that right now, you know? It's just that, you know, I have completely run out of wave degrees here. There isn't really, I can't add another layer of subwaves here, really. Um, maybe I do that just to show. But, you know, again, focus on higher. It's just that what what path could it take, right? What What is the path it could take? So it's literally A, B, C. Hold on, I need to change the wave degree. Pretty slow day, you know, um, overall in the market. So yeah, I think we could be dealing with, with this, yeah. Um, it's just something to be aware of. This B wave could be complete, it's quite weak. So it might go a little bit higher before then the C wave down starts. Normally, what do we say? Normally for a fourth wave in the blue count, um, the 38.2 retracement is typically ideal. But even here, the, the third might actually form one more high. Um, and that is just simply because the 138% extension is normally an ideal target for the third wave. So we haven't reached that. We nearly got there, nearly. But overall, yeah, I mean, We'll have to see. There is obviously always a little bit of uncertainty with regards to the microstructures. Could even be that this B wave, one second, the yellow B wave overshoots. It looks like another high in wave three, and then we go down and it's actually an ABC. So this is where the micro counting simply doesn't, doesn't give us much benefit, right? So it's more like education, bit of entertainment here. 
Whereas what really matters is that the support area holds. Now, what is important is, okay, what would happen if we break below support? Is there some kind of an alternative? And I thought about it today and I thought, yeah, I mean, what would be, you know, what would be the alternative? What happens if we break below 65,200? And a scenario that would probably make sense is that we say, this here was a wave one, this was a wave two, and then we have an A, B, C. So just all of this being the A wave, yeah? It's just another way of labeling this. And the problem is, because we're dealing with probably a diagonal pattern to the upside, um, or at least the potential is there, that there are very, you know, there are many variations of this micro count. But as long as we're holding higher lows, higher highs, the trend is up. It's just that below 65,200, I'd probably be looking at like this, one, two, A wave, B wave, C wave, and then we could just reattempt another rally from there. Um, but yeah, we, we don't, you know, at the moment we're still holding above support. So of course there are more bearish scenarios, but I don't want to put them all on the chart here. I think it's important to be aware of them. What would be the alternative? Um, for me, it's a bit like, like we've got a very, like a micro support up here and the next really meaningful one is then down here. And the idea is, yep, from here we could go higher. There could be another attempt from there. If that fails as well, then from here. But for now, we haven't even broken below the upper support area. So very, very interesting, very important. And overall, also on the daily chart, all support levels are holding. We're holding below that trend line that I showed you on the daily chart. This is going to be meaningful. In the first video today, I showed you USDT dominance as well, explained what it, you know, kind of what it means in the current market situation. But we'd really like to see here to confirm further that, um, yeah, we are actually pushing higher. We want to see a break above that upper trend line, right, from that, from that range. So essentially we're still in the range um, and we're squeezed between, you could say a breakout point and the micro support on the one hour chart. So it's, let's say that that's why it's probably not moving because it, you know, it takes some effort to break through there and support isn't breaking either. So the market is sort of as a, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of preparing maybe for a breakout or something, but um, we just have to be a bit patient at the moment. Okay, so that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.